Hi, I'm Tammy from the Grass Pad, and today we're going to talk about my absolute favorite topic, building the perfect planter. Now whether you have sun or whether you have shade, we can create a planter that's colorful and creative and it's going to last all season long. We follow kind of a general rule of thumb, and you've probably even heard of it. It's called the Thriller Filler Spiller Rule. And basically, a thriller is something that's kind of tall and showy, something that's going to kind of make your plant look a little taller. A filler is a little shorter, kind of fills in that space around the, around the, the uh, thriller, but not quite as tall. And a spiller, just like you think, spills over the side, it kind of softens that pot, it kind of makes your whole pot complete. So today I'm going to show you a sun combination and a shade combination just to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with your planters. So we're going to start with the sun combination. We're going to start with a, a spike. You've probably all seen a spike. This is a really traditional kind of planter and a lot of our, a lot of our grandmas and moms, they've been using spikes for years and there's a reason because they work really well. Then geraniums. Geraniums are a really good hard worker in the sun. Also really traditional uh, plant. We just love them. So we're going to pop some geraniums in here as well. All right. And not everyone likes yellow. But I like to add yellow to almost every planter, yellow or white, something that's going to kind of, kind of uh, bring out the colors in the other plants. So this is a calabricoa. It's kind of a mini petunia. We're going to pop that right in there. That, now those are our thriller and our fillers. We're going to finish it up with a spiller. So it's, this is a vinca vine. Again, really, really traditional kind of planter here. And what we do is we just kind of pop those vinca vines right in between our, our fillers. There are lots and lots of options, but this is a complete sun planter. I get rid of this little mess. Then if you're in the shade, a lot of people think they don't have options for color in the shade, but you really do. I like to start with coleus as our thriller. Coleus is a really hard worker. Some grow in the sun, but most of them like the shade. So we're going to start with the coleus. We're going to pop him in. This one, this little guy, this little guy grows about two to three feet. So he's really going to be a nice, nice thriller. And he has really good color. It can bloom too in the, in the future. It'll bloom when, it's get, when it gets a little bit more mature. Then impatience. This is a really colorful option. I just love impatience. We're going to pop, pop those guys in. And impatience come in many, many different colors, including like a coral and a red. Just wanted to show you some pink today. And then I like to, like I said, I like to kind of contrast the colors with either white or yellow, but your choice, it's your garden. So we want you to be happy with it. So whatever your favorite colors are, those are going to work as well. And then we're going to, going to finish off with our spiller and we're going to use Creeping Jenny in this case. Creeping Jenny is a really good hard worker, spills over and just makes that makes that pot really soft on the, on the edges. Pop him in, and there, there is a traditional shade planter. So we have a nice sun planter and a shade planter, lots of colors. We have lots of options here, lots of flowers to choose from. So come on down, we'd love to give you some help. We're open Saturday, eight to five, Sunday, 10 to four.